Man, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Twan, and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make some loops like Frank Dukes, Coop the Truth, that kind of like vintage style sample. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Run on my social media and let's get straight to the video. So before I go any further, I'm going to just play you guys a sample. This is what it sounds like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. So first what I started off, I started with this Omnisphere right here. And I used this Elephant Stroll preset from Keyscape. And I laid down these chords. So pretty much we're in the scale of A sharp minor and I just had this A sharp chord right here. And then this is pretty much a uh, one five uh, chord progression. So it's like, um, I just copied it over right here and I just pressed shift and just uh, went up five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, this is that chord. Um, and I just inverted the A sharp to go uh, back down. And this is why it gives it that cool kind of feel, you know? Uh, then I went into contact and I went into this Oliver Arnold's uh, Stratus. It's kind of like a synthesizer in uh, in contact with like different arpeggio arpeggiated presets and just cool like pads and synths. And I picked this uh, Rhythmic Attack uh, 01 Matrix or something like that. And I pretty much just copied and pasted the same MIDI and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, it just kind of gave it like a cool, dreamy feel. I actually forgot to show you guys the effects that I used on the first Omnisphere sound, so let me just go back. Uh, this is what it sounds like without the effects. And now with the effects. So pretty much for effects, I use this fab filter to cut the EQ, the low end out. A stereo one imager from Waves just to add some more stereo width. And then an effect rack with the liquid vibe to add some bit of modulation. I use this delay memory brigade. Um, I'm not sure, I think it was the default preset. An EQ cutting some more lows. This reverb intensity with this low fire room preset. If you watch the video you know i use this all the time a waves uh our verb i just wanted to i just like the sound there, that reverb gave it i think i turned down the mix a little bit yeah i turned down the mix under 50 percent and then uh, eq cutting some highs out and yeah pretty much that's the sound it gave then for the contact sound i used also a couple of effects so without any effects and now with the effects So yeah, just, I just wanted it to be a bit more present. Uh, so I used this EQ, cutting some lows out. A guitar rig, where I turned down the mix uh, by like 15%. I used this Black Sun Garden preset. A, I added this half time with this quarter loop. A Waves uh, Stereo One Imager, again, just to add some more stereo. I used this preamp from Arturia, the Pre-V6. Uh, with this bright preset and I just turned up the output trim uh, just to you know kind of just uh, make it a bit more present in the mix as I told you and a little radiator just to add some more um, saturation then next uh, the vocals from Arcade so these vocals are from the Stay Tonight Hooked Library and I just played uh, this note right here let me find it yeah this C4 and this is what it sounded like I want you to stay stay for the night the night I want you to stay stay for the night the night so yeah I just really like the, the the sound and the phrase uh and I actually call this sample stay for the night so uh yeah it kind of came from uh this uh, vocal uh phrase so 
I first used a little Ultra Boy uh, just to turn down uh, some of the foreman. Then I used an EQ with this Bandpass Narrow preset, a Reverb Intensity with the Low Fire Room preset again, a Valhalla Vintage Verb, turning on the mix and the decay a bit, a Fruity EQ, cutting some highs out, and then two uh, Fab Filter EQs, cutting this frequency right here that I wanted to kind of get rid of, and also cutting some more lows, and this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, pretty much that's it. Then I went into On The Sphere again, and I picked this Cosmic Plup, Cosmic Plup, Cosmic Plup, Cosmic Planet uh, Keyscape preset, and I went ahead and uh, pretty much just followed the chords, but kind of arpeggiated from up, going like down the, the chords, so it sounds like this. So yeah, it's a very kind of road, vintage type of synth it sounds really cool then i added an eq cutting some lows out uh an eq to cut some more lows and a, a bit of the highs out a chorus dimension from arturia just adding a bit more chorus uh and modulation i use this reverb spring 636 from arturia with this uh alt gibbs small preset i think i turned down uh this blend uh, knob right here to give it more of like a preamp feel rather than a reverb and I'm pretty sure I also turned down some of the gain knobs right here and some of the frequencies because uh, I don't really like when there's too much reverb in the low end because uh, it just tends to sound too muddy and stuff so yeah then I went into reverb intensity from um, Arturia I used this next door apartment preset it's pretty cool I turned down the dry and wet knob uh, to make it less present and finally a Valhalla vintage verb um, turning down some of the decay uh, the attack and the mix and yeah pretty much it sounds like this So yeah, not doing too, too much. And finally, the last sound that I added is this contact sound right here. I picked this Passion Flute uh, contact library. It's a very, very, very good uh, contact uh, flute library. And I pretty much just played these notes right here. So yeah, it's a cool little phrase. Then I added a couple of effects and I made it sound less like a flute and more like a kind of a lead sound type synth type of sound. So pretty much the way I did that, I just used this EQ cutting some lows out and this frequency right here that was a little too strong. I used a guitar rig. Now you may be wondering like, why would you use a guitar rig on a flute if you're not meant to do that? But lately I've just been experimenting with exactly like stuff you're not supposed to do and uh, finding out like such cool things, like such unorthodox stuff uh that you can do um uh you know to implement in your samples i think that's like a really cool way to just kind of experiment with new uh sounds and stuff so yeah i picked this uh bc tone Rhodes uh preset from guitar rig and i i turned off this analog sequencer section and this also a Rezo chord um just because i didn't like the sound of it with i used portal with this fusion preset from steven uh and pilgrim's um portal bank and then finally an EQ cutting some lows out. And then I just rendered every sound as it is, as I always do, and I rearranged the sample that way and uh, rendered it out as its own sample again and added some final effects to it. So this is what the sample sounds like without the final effects. So yeah, now I added these final effects. I added a pre uh, preamp from Arturia, just you know, with this more bass preset, just to kind of bring it up a little more. A wow, uh, good hertz wow control with this good cassette preset, turning down the amount knob a little down and um, turning up the color knob and down the saturated knob. Uh, just because I just wanted to add a bit more of uh, that coloring feel, and I turned down the noise as well. Um, and then an EQ cutting some lows out and finally a spin. I turned out the mix to like 10% with this palm preset 
and uh, yeah, it gives it a really cool kind of just, you know, moving feel. And uh, yeah, that's what this final sample sounds like. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button so we can keep growing. As always, let me know what you guys would want to see in the next videos. And that's it from me today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.